Hey guys, it's Josh, the 9 inning know-it-all, coming to you today to talk about a topic that's going to be affecting baseball um, even more as the weeks go on, maybe even months go on. Uh, before we do that, guys, take a second, hit subscribe. It lets you know when new videos come out. we got videos coming out every day. We've got interviews, baseball talk, just a lot of fun stuff, all baseball related, all just talking about the game that we love. So let's jump into the topic because that's enough. Subscribe. Uh, so guys, the coronavirus is going around. Um, it's hit Washington. I don't want to say hard um, because I think that's kind of a, a fear mongering type of topic, but it is hitting the state of Washington and there are effects that are being seen um, in workplaces. There are effects being seen at universities, colleges, schools, and in the baseball world. Uh, even this weekend, tonight, I was supposed to uh, be covering uh, Lower Columbia College, the, the local community college that um, that I cover, that's like five minutes from where I live. Uh, they're going to play Lane, which is out of Eugene, Oregon. Uh, but the Lane um, head honchos executives have decided to limit travel uh, for their athletic teams, so they had to actually cancel um, coming up here. Now, I still will be covering games this weekend. Uh, Laura Columbia actually contacted uh, Columbia Basin, which is another um, college within the NWAC system. They're, they're from the East region, and they're actually going to be coming for two games Saturday and then two games Sunday, whereas it was supposed to be two games Friday, two games Saturday, and nothing on Sunday. Just push, two, push the games back a day. Um, so for me, I really don't care who is playing um, as long as I get to photograph games, be out there, and Honestly, Sunday's weather is looking better than today's weather, so I'm okay with that. It's not a big deal for me, um, but it is this this virus is affecting things. Like I said, you know, teams are being limited in their travel. Uh, just yesterday, NWAC actually fully shut down their championship basketball tournament. Uh, so I think like two of the the women's games happened, but none of the men's games. So they're trying to find a new location <coughs> locate location for that. Uh, so it's affecting basketball. Um, I know that there's been a few other teams uh, like Centralia, uh, who I cover from time to time. They were supposed to go play at a complex up in, I believe it's Olympia or Lacey, uh, called The Rack. And they actually had to cancel because they're shutting down that um, in terms of having games and tournaments and stuff going on. So a lot of stuff is happening. You know, it's impacting baseball, impacting softball here in the Northwest. Uh, even... There's been talk about it impacting spring training and not in the essence of canceling games, but whether or not players will sign autographs. And this kind of frustrates me because um, not that they shouldn't take this serious because you should. I mean, getting sick, it sucks. And for those people who are at risk, uh, the elderly, the very young, um, those with different you know, health issues already should take this very serious. Um, I know my wife does have health issues, so she's taking this more serious than, than I am. Because uh, once again, I don't, when I get sick, it's not that bad. I don't have any major health issues, nothing like that. So I'm not too worried about this type of virus. Um, but there are people who are, you know, the elderly especially have to be worried about this. But for a lot of people who are out at spring training stuff, you know, one, they're outdoors. So, you know, you're out there, better weather. People tend to not be as sick when they're outdoors doing stuff like that. But one of the things that they kept talking about is players were afraid to sign autographs. And from what I hear, that's not true. Players weren't afraid to sign autographs, aren't afraid to sign autographs. Um, and what some of the teams are doing is they're just providing their own pens. Instead of grabbing pens from the fans, they just have pens right there with them. Um, grab a blue Sharpie, black Sharpie, regular pen. And so that way they don't have to keep passing pens back and forth. You know, they grab the card, sign it, that's it, the hat, whatever. And that's better. And they're making sure, I'm sure they got plenty of, um, you know, stuff for their hands to to go through and disinfect in and, and soap for washing their hands. I'm sure the guys are taking care of themselves. But let's be honest, Major League Baseball players are in great shape. And I would seriously doubt that their health risk is very high when it comes to this type of thing. They might get it, get some cough, you know, have some coughing, maybe have a little bit of fever. But that's it. They're going to probably work through it pretty easily, not even realize they really have something like this to begin with. So you don't want to spread it. You don't want to pass it. I get that. But, you know, in the end, the virus is affecting life and, in fact, in impacting baseball and, and softball here in the Northwest. And it'll probably impact things um, as we go on across, you know, other states, that type of thing. But 
for me, it just it's interesting to see the reactions, the impact, and even to hear uh, doctors talk about it. Because a lot of doctors um, kind of feel like it's being overblown a little bit, still serious, but maybe too much um, in terms of, of fear. But in the end, you know, I'm not a doctor, but I just I've been listening to a lot of a lot of videos of doctors, some from very established uh, schools, universities, hospitals, that type of stuff, and it's interesting. But for me, the biggest thing, it does impact baseball. It does impact um, interactions between fans and players. And I'm glad to hear that there are still people being able to interact with the players at spring training. Still glad to hear that the players are still interacting with the fans. You know, this is a big time for baseball. You know, spring training is when a lot of fans um, just go and and have the most relaxing, enjoyable time in terms of baseball because – I mean, let's be honest, if you've ever been to Phoenix for spring training, oh my gosh, it's it's so relaxing. It really is laid back. It doesn't matter which stadium you go to. It's just, it's like just going out there, lay on the grass, watch a game, eat some food, and, and have a good time. So, you know, it's a good time, and it, I hate for that to be spoiled for fans um, who are who are going down there or already there as it is. So, no. Once again, for those, if you do get it, you know, I wish you the best. Hope you get better, you know. But at the same time, you know, I, I hope that this doesn't um, cause too much fear uh, in the baseball world and softball world that we're able to understand that, yes, it's serious, but at the same time, we can't stop life. So, so guys, those are just my thoughts. You know, I hope everyone, you know, stays healthy. Wash your hands. That's a big thing. Uh, my family's been washing our hands pretty much nonstop throughout the day. You know, we don't, we try and avoid doing certain things that, you know, can pass germs around. So we're doing what we can. That's the best we can do and, and hope for the best. Well, guys, I'm Josh, the Now You Know It All. Thanks for taking the video, time to watch the video and, uh, well, see you guys tomorrow. Bye.